So what are golf courses doing to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus? Let's talk about that right now. Hey everybody, this is Brady with Golf Ascending. Tyson couldn't make it to film with me today, um, obviously social distancing. Um, but we wanted to talk about a little bit what our golf course is doing to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus or COVID-19. As you may know, everyone kind of knows <laughs> that the world is kind of under a self-quarantine right now. And it's obviously affecting a lot of people and a lot of businesses and it is uh, very unfortunate and it's a scary thing and worst of all it's um, affecting lives and people are dying from it and um, we're trying to uh, stop the least amount of deaths as possible by quarantining ourselves. Nothing new there. I think the whole world knows this. Um, but what are golf courses doing to help mitigate the spread of coronavirus? Let's talk a little bit about that right now. Um, you may have heard that there are a lot of courses out there that are closing down. I've heard of a ton in the UK based on Facebook groups I follow that I've read about. Um, I've heard a lot around the country in the US and I've even heard of quite a few in Salt Lake County. I live in Utah, me and Tyson live in Utah and we've heard of quite a few in Utah or Salt Lake County closing down. Fortunately, our course that we go to has not closed down yet and I want to share with you what they're doing to mitigate um, the spread of coronavirus and that other courses are doing as well. Um, I think there's hundreds if not thousands of um, different courses around the world that are also implementing some of these things. So let's talk about some of the things they're trying to do. Um, first of all, they are trying to avoid uh, contact so if you're going to the clubhouse, they suggest, and I'm kind of giving you the ones that I've heard, especially at our course, but they suggest that you pay online and or uh, not use cash so you don't have to um, exchange anything with the clubhouse attendant. Um, another thing is I've noticed is they don't allow as many people in the clubhouse. So um, if you have a group of four that you're going golfing with, maybe you only have one person go in. And if there's another group of four ahead of you, wait until they come out so you don't create a crowd in there and people can do proper social distancing, keeping six feet away. Another thing that courses are doing right now is cleaning the golf carts really well before and after play, which is very important because that's obviously something that everyone's touching when they're using the steering wheel or you know, um, putting their balls and water bottles in the holders there. So they're cleaning those down really well. Another thing that many courses are doing are removing rakes from the bunkers. Um, this is to avoid many people touching the same thing and touching the rakes. And so if you see that there aren't any rakes at the side of a bunker, that is the reason. It's so that many people don't touch them and spread those germs of uh, coronavirus. Um, another thing that you may have seen, and this is pretty interesting, is that um, many of the courses are lifting up the hole about an inch above ground. And um, it was funny, me and Tyson, the first time we went golfing and our course implemented that, we had no idea. Um, we didn't know what it was about, and so the first hole we played, we actually tried to push the hole back in, and we're like, why isn't this going in? We pulled out some dirt, tried to shove it in, um, and it wasn't until later, well, the next hole we saw is on there, and then the next hole, so we're like, this is probably on purpose. It wasn't until afterward we did the research and found out that, yeah, they, they did that on purpose so that people wouldn't touch the flag and avoid um, touching other parts of the hole when they're grabbing the ball. Um, a lot of people don't like that from what I've heard, the feedback, because it kind of makes the game a little too easy because you just have to putt as hard as you want, you know, and it'll just hit the cup and then you count it. And that kind of makes the game a little easy. I mean, I had my best score ever. <laughs> I, sh I shot a 37, one over, and I think it's because I had that handicap. Um, another thing that courses are doing instead of the inch the hole an inch above ground is to put a sponge in the in the hole. 
um, that way, and it's generally about half an inch or an inch below. So the ball doesn't go all the way down, but it just kind of rests on top. And so that way, again, you don't have to pull out the flag. It just goes to that um, on the sponge, which honestly makes it harder than the other way with the hole above ground because it will just kind of fly right off. But you can kind of count it as, hey, it hit the sponge, count it, it's good. Um, and again, that's another way to stop people from touching the flagpole so we're not spreading germs of the coronavirus. And w the last one I've seen is putting the hole upside down. And so it's kind of similar to the sponge. It just doesn't have as much room to um, go all the way down. So you just grab your ball at the top. Um, one more thing that I've heard, and this has been, I think, before the coronavirus, which can be uh, pretty common, is the thin pin, I think is what they call it. Um, so the pin or the flagpole is much skinnier at the bottom. And so that way it's easier for the ball to go in and easier to take it out. And that way you don't have to pull the pin out when you're putting. So these are some of the things that we've seen that courses are doing. And I, I've even heard of some courses um, keeping their door open. So no one even has to touch the doors when they walk in or out of the clubhouse. Um, the one that I go to, the course I go to, it's kind of too windy generally. And so what they did is they put some hand sanitizer right by the door. And also in a letter that they put out and that they also posted on Instagram, they said that they are um, suggesting that the players bring their own hand sanitizer as well, just to be careful. So those are some of the things that I've seen that courses are doing. So I think it's a pretty good idea. I personally do not want the courses to close. Um, let me know, let us know your comments and what you think. Do you think it's a good idea for the courses to stay open? Should they just close um, just to, you know, really fight the spread of this virus? Um, or do you think this is a great social distancing idea? I, I personally, and it could be selfish, I, I do want to stay open as long as they keep um, the you know, doing everything they can to stop the spread. Because I personally feel that it is a good social distancing activity, something just to get out. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that a lot of courses are even allowing for people to ride in their own cart. So you don't even have to ride with someone. And then there's always just not riding in a cart. You can keep the social distancing. You don't even have to touch something that someone else has touched. So personally, I hope many courses stay open for that reason. But let me know in the comments. I, I know it's a sensitive topic and it's something that we're all trying to do um, self-quarantine to help make sure that this doesn't get worse. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Please subscribe. We post content every week, um, golf-related content, of course. Um, this week was a little different with the COVID-19 going around, but hey, stay safe. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. Also make sure to click that notification bell because we post content every week.